the suck. Sometimes together, most often alone, we'd slip the catch on the rusted chain, follow the car track through the bottoms. The river held our stories. It was where we'd go to talk or cry or be quiet in the company of the current, whether it flowed fast after a flood, rolled in circling eddies, or drifted smooth and slow past stands of alder and silver green willow. We could look as far as the next bend or out to the island, speckled with yellow iris, bordered with sedge. We could dream of leaving, making lives of our own. Ask the river to bless us, let us go. Well, I grew up on the banks of the River Suck and that our farm borders the river. And I suppose the river dominated our childhood in a way in that we went down to the river for a walk, we went down to the river to gather cattle, we went down to the river to feed cattle, to go to the shop, even on the way to school. Um, we learned to swim in the river. So it was very much a part of our childhood probably more than I realised and it was only when I began to write, so I only began to write about 11 years ago, and it was then that the river came into my poetry and gave me imagery and gave me a way of speaking about things I wanted to explore through poetry. And, and it was only then that I would have thought, oh yeah, that must have been so important in our lives, but I suppose we took it for granted. It was just part of what was there. So, um, and, and, and I suppose there's a lot of vocabulary that goes with the river uh, in terms of, like even the bottoms, like that's in the poem, The Suck. Lots of people don't know what you mean by the bottoms and obviously it's that low lying land at the edge of a river. And I can remember all of those things, the different times of year, the river is different at different times of the year. And uh, all of that is in my memory and I wouldn't have realized it was there until you start to write and you're, you're, you're writing brings those things back to you. Well, the River Suck flows through this collection in all kinds of ways. And so it has obviously inspired a lot of the poems. And I think it's both the physical reality of the river, uh, in terms of remembering it from when I was a child and spending lots of time down by the river, but it's also what it represents, uh, in that it represents both transience and steadfastness. And there is, but it must also be perhaps when I was a child, I picked up something of the rhythm of the river and that that has influenced my writing voice as well. Um, because if you think about it, like poetry, a poem flows, you know, and it goes through different, there's different moods in a, in a poem in the same way as a river flows. And, um, and the same way river has different moods. I mean, obviously the suck recently with the floods, it's got these very angry. When, you're, when a river is flooded, it can feel very angry. And if it's in a great rush to get somewhere. And then, you know, on a summer's day, it can just feel so gentle. And I, I, I suppose a poem is like that. It can have its different, it can have a rush in the middle of it and then it can end off maybe very gently or start more softly. So I I think the, that the, the suck has probably influenced my writing in all kinds of ways that I'm not even aware of. Mm -hmm.